god. Ah, oh, I probably have a hernia from that. All right. Hello everyone, I'm Dan, Bill Daniel Build, and welcome to Dan's Printer Reviews. Creality sent me this with no strings attached. I am completely making this review just for the fun of it and because I have it. Without further ado, let's unbox this bad boy. Oh, so it has to go back on the ground? Cool, all right. One second. Jesus. This is uh, slightly heavy, okay? Slightly. It's up. Good job. Great work, team. First impression, this thing is heavy, but this thing is gorgeous. 350 cubed, mm, mint. This is the manual that comes with it. Don't need that, okay? Throw it away. We're gonna try to figure this out ourselves. The CFS came out super easily. More PLA? But through this exclusive TV offer, we'll double it. Please tear off this sticker before use. So that's pretty much that, which means we can install everything else. That's set up. All right, then the screen cable comes through here. I just looked here and uh, Creality actually has a whole toolkit that they send you. I was so excited about the printer, I didn't notice this. This is pretty awesome. Please connect to internet to update firmware before printing. Word. The Bluetooth device. Snaps in, connect the cable and then, wow. And, and that's it. That was like 10 steps. That's insane. Let's go ahead and move this into the print room and uh, test it out. The final setup for this printer is to place the CFS on top of the printer. You then attach the two electrical cables in the PTFE tube and plug the printer in. Once the printer was powered on, I opened up the CFS and added a roll of Creality filament. These have an RFID tag to automatically add the filament profile to the printer without any adjustments needed. You got mail. However, if you're going to use other brand filament, you'll just have to set the filament material, temperature, and color manually. After downloading and installing the Creality Slicer, I was ready to begin printing. The first thing I wanted to print was the Cyberman helmet, which I got from Wireframe. After importing the model into the Creality Slicer, I left the layer height at 0.2mm, made the wall loops 3, left the infill at 15%, and added organic supports. After slicing, I sent it to the printer to begin printing. This is the very first print that I have done with the K2 Plus. I decided to print the Cyberman helmet. So this only took uh, 14 and a half hours, but this looks phenomenal. Perfect. This is the back plate that's just finished up. Uh, this took just about seven hours to print and it looks fantastic. The supports just peel off. There's a little bit of Z-banding, but that's nothing a little bit of post-processing won't take care of. Yeah, this is great. For doing absolutely nothing other than just straight printing this, even the overhangs look really nice. There's a little bit of scarring. This is phenomenal for the size. Hello, it's Editor Dan. Now I don't have a nasally voice. Anyways, I wanted to try something different, so I downloaded a dice tower from Creality Cloud. I sliced the file on base settings and printed it out in Creality Hyper Black PLA. The final print had a nice smooth finish, and it slid together and functioned properly. Ladies and gentlemen, these are my final thoughts on the K2 Plus. I've been using the K2 Plus for about a month now, and honestly, I have more pros than cons. I did notice on some of the prints, there's very small inconsistency with the layer lines or there's extra material under the supports, but to me, that doesn't matter too much because I do sand and paint almost all of the prints that I do. The printer itself is heavy. However, the weight isn't bad because once it's set on a stable location, it does give it that solid feel to it, like it's not gonna break or it's flimsy. The setup of the printer was also very simple. I simply just plugged everything in and then I was able to start printing. The slicer itself isn't difficult. If you use other ones, it might take a second to get used to, but for the most part, you can just drop in a print and start. 
The speed that it prints at is also extremely nice. It's able to match the speeds of most printers. Overall, the K2 Plus is sturdy, it's fast, and reliable. This is the Cyberman helmet that I showed you earlier in the video, and while I still had to sand this down, I didn't have to do too much sanding because the K2 Plus is pretty consistent and it was a very smooth print. The K2 Plus combo retails for about $12.99. While that cost does seem high, you are getting a 350 millimeter cube build space and a CFS. You might be asking yourself, well, Dan, the printer was in a different location at the different point in this video. I'm glad you asked. That's because I tore up all my carpet and put hardwood flooring down in my print room. And because I mentioned that, I can write it off on taxes. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.